Hey yo, Duckies, Andy Lippy here, and you know it's been a while since I've done a bit of a streamer bot tutorial, but here is one for you. I've been getting it asked quite a lot on my stream, so I wanted to show you how you can actually show all your recent events, so like your recent follow, subscriber, everything like that. There's a lot of different ways of doing this, but let's just jump into it. I'm going to show you my favourite way, which is using global variables. Let's go, put your rug over the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV are literally your one-stop shop for all things streaming. They've got tons and tons of overlays and alert packages. You can get all your different sub emotes and also badges. Anything that you need for your stream is available on Own.TV. And what's even better is that you can save yourself a cheeky 50% off anything using offer code Andy50. I'll leave all the links in the description. Thank you Own.TV for sponsoring in this portion of the video. So there are a few ways of doing this one, but I think I've found the easiest way for people to understand. It, uh, it does require making quite a few different actions, but to be honest, you want it to be nice and easy. So we're going to set up OBS first. We're going to jump into OBS and we're going to create a new source. I'm going to use a text source for this. So I'm going to right click, we're going to press add, and we're going to add in a text GDI source. And we could actually do all the follow events and the sub events, everything in a separate text box. But for this example, I'm going to put them all into the same text box because you'll understand how to do it separately. Easy as that, because it's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to call this recent events and press OK. And then now I've got my text box. I'm going to turn the font down just a little bit just because it is so big. So if I start typing in there, you'll see it was massive. So I'm going to press OK there. And that's it. That's all we need to do inside of OBS. Obviously, we can stylize it and do different things, which I'll show you a little bit later on as well. So jumping into Streamerbot, we need to start pulling the information when the events occur. If you guys have seen my previous tutorial on how to make multiple actions on certain events. So if you get a follow, for instance, if you have a look on here, you can only select one action. So go and check out that video. I'll leave it up here and in the description down below. It's a really useful video if you want multiple things to happen across different actions. So we're going to create a new action. So we we'll go to the actions tab and we're going to add a new action in here. I'm going to call this follow event just like that. Um, you can call it whatever you want. It's up to you how you organize this. And I'm going to create a group called Twitch events just in case you're streaming to YouTube and things like that as well. Press OK. So now we've got follow event. I'm going to add a sub action in here. So basically any time this is triggered, which is going to be when we have a follow, we need to actually save the variable information. So one way of checking what variables you can use, if I go up to platforms and then because it's going to be a follow, I can select no action there and go to follow event and select that. When I press test, it's going to look like nothing's happened, but that should send a follow test through. So if now we go to action queues, press action history, we can actually right click and inspect the variables that there is. So you can see user, username, so we can decide what variables we want to use. All the variable information is on the Streamerbot wiki, so I will leave a link to that in the description as well. It's super useful. If you're not seeing this, make sure you are updated to 0.1.9 because it's insane, this update. So the argument we're going to be using is user. So I'm going to close that down and go to my actions tab and select the follower event. I'm going to right click, press add sub action, go down to logic and go down to global set because we're going to set this as a global variable. So I'm going to call this recent follower like so. And the argument we're going to use was user because it's the username, isn't it? So if I press OK there, that is going to set a global variable that is the recent follower. So it's the most recent follow that you've had to that person's name. So now what we're going to do is create like the event loader. So the recent event loader by creating another action. This will just save your streamer bot from having a ton of different sub actions when they can all feed into the same one. So I'm going to right click and add a new action. And this one I'm going to call recent events loader. I'm going to give this a group in the Twitch events and it's there. So what I want to happen on recent events loader is I want it to get the argument. So we're going to go to logic again, and we're going to press global get. The variable name is the variable that we want to pull. And if you remember, we called it recent follower. And then the destination variable, I normally just call it the same thing, but add load at the end or something like that. So recent follower loaded. 
or load or whatever just because then it's got a different variable name and it won't cause any problems inside of streamer bob and press ok and now that will load that variable in and then we'll, that will load that argument in so what we can do is actually create another sub action and send that information to obs so we're going to go down to obs and press set gdi text source we've got the blank scene that i'm on the recent events and we're going to use that new variable that we've got. So percent sign, and we're going to do recent follower loaded percent sign. And then I could add something at the beginning of this. So if I wanted it to say recent follower and then do a little space, press OK. Now that will actually send that information to OBS. So if we go back to the follower event now, we need to tell this that when we do get a follower event, we need to send it to the recent events loader. So I'm going to right click, add a sub action, and we're going to go to actions and run action. And then this will run the events loader. We're going to select that and I untick run action immediately for this. Press OK. And now we should be good to go. Now, if I go to platforms and test the follower, we should see it says recent follower owned. That's fitting. So we've actually sent that information directly into there. Is this content helping you out? If yes, please consider joining the channel memberships today or Patreon to help me keep making this content for you full time. You can join from £1 a month and it goes a huge way to supporting me. I will be making some perks as well very soon. You can also support at no extra cost. Just tippity tap that little subscribe button and also that notification bell so you don't miss any videos out. Thanks a lot, guys. So now you're probably asking, what if I want to add in other events? So the best way that I do this is rather than having to set up everything again from scratch, go to the follower event that we made and just duplicate it, double click on it, and we can change this to say sub event. And you can do the same with any of these Twitch events or donation events, anything that you can trigger in Streamerbot you can do here. So press OK. And now we just need to double click on the sub action for the global variable and we'll call it recent subscriber recent subscriber and that'll be the username again we can test which variables we can use if we press ok go up to platforms go to the sub section and say we want to do the generic one there get it to trigger the sub event and select you can do the same with resub as well so if i do that and select that now if i press test we'll say um two months Press test there. You're not going to see any change here, but if we go to the action queue, we can see the sub events here. We're going to right click and we can check the variables on what we can use. So we've got the tier that they've got there. We've also got the username. We've got all the information that we probably need for anything. And again, check this out on the Streamerbot wiki. Going back to the actions page, you probably know we might want to add in some more information from the subscriber, like how many months they've resubscribed for. So I can actually right click on this set global and duplicate it, drag it up because make sure you do the action recent events loader after it's got all the variable information. Open this up and this time we'll do recent subscriber months. So now we can use the argument cumulative, press OK and that's set. Now we need to go to the recent events loader and actually tell it to get the global for each of them. So if I right click on the get global and duplicate it again, Again, move it up to the second position, double click on it, change this to what we set them other variables for. So subscriber, and then we'll do it again, subscriber loaded. So it'll say recent subscriber loaded and press OK. And then right click and duplicate once more because we need to load the months in. So we're going to double click it and do recent subscriber months. You need to make sure all these are spelled exactly the same way. Otherwise, they will not work. I'm going to press OK. And then now we can change what we want to say in the text source. So I'm going to double click on the text source again. I'm going to leave a good couple of spaces. So we'll leave like 10 spaces. So I'll just hold it down and then we'll do recent subscriber percent sign. We'll do recent subscriber loaded percent sign. And then I can do like, I don't know, a dash. And then we're going to do the other one that we added how many months. So we're going to do another percent sign recent subscriber months loaded then percent sign again and then i'll probably put uh months at the end looks really complicated but if we press ok we can have a little look at it now so if we go to commands and anytime now if we press the follower alert or subscriber it'll actually pull all that information across so if i go over to platforms 
go to resub and we'll press test you'll see we've now got recent and then we've got recent subscriber and how many months which is pretty cool so obviously the more different kind of events you add the more text that will be there so then you could think of some really cool ways of doing it so if i right click for instance and go to filters and we're going to add a filter we can add a scroll filter so if you want this to just be on constantly add the scroll filter put the horizontal speed up as if by magic you have now got a little ticker bar saying all the recent events that have happened you probably see that they're really close together where it comes up after two months and recent so we can go into streamer bot and edit that if we want to go back to your actions the recent events loader and we're going to go to recent events and we can just add in a few spaces manually like that press ok and then now when we get the next event so if i change this now to say eight sub it'll change just there and it will have a gap and that's pretty much all there is to it obviously it can get very complicated depending on how many things that you want to put on there and how many different text sources you've got you saw my example at the beginning i'll show it you here again because it is pretty cool make sure you are coming over to twitch and I'm, I'm teaching this sort of stuff live as well so hopefully you'll enjoy it massive shout to all these people that help me make this content full time please consider joining patreon to support me as i'm moving towards doing this full time it would be massively appreciated and check out the streamer bot playlist just here because it will sort you right out put your rocket for the stone